In your Fox E report tonight, did you ever think you could turn extra beer into energy? Well, that's a reality for one Vermont brewery. Fox 44's Rachel Kent spent the day with a mechanical engineer at Magic Hat who made it all happen. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Lauren. Magic Hat Brewery recently started using its waste to provide energy to its brewery. We wanted to find out exactly how this works, and what we found out was this method could save the company hundreds of thousands of dollars. When you think beer, the first thing that comes to mind probably isn't energy. But for mechanical engineer Eric Fitch, that's exactly what's on his mind. He just had to find the right company to partner with. We also want a partner that not only are they producing this waste, they're also consuming natural gas. Because we can take that waste, we can convert it into a natural gas resource for them. So Fitch chose to partner with Magic Hat Brewery. It tastes the waste from the brewing industry and converts it into renewable natural gas. And we can send that renewable natural gas into the brewery for use to make more beer. Fitch installed this anaerobic methane digester. It turns yeast, barley, and excess beer into usable energy. Fitch says his system is the first in the world to extract energy from grain and then reuse it in the brewery. If you didn't believe that beer could actually produce energy, all you have to do is smell this. Going down there is the excess beer that actually produces energy that makes the beer you're at home drinking. You're probably wondering just how much energy beer can really create. Well, Fitch says Magic Hat can save more than $15,000 a month on its energy bill. Industries are going to do things that make the most sense for them financially. They're not really driven necessarily by the environment. Fitch says he sees this digester and his system appealing to businesses across the country. And it doesn't have to be just beer. This is a, an alternative for a lot of different industries. And he talks about it being for a lot of different industries. Well, he spoke with a yogurt plant in Brattleboro who's also thinking of ins installing its own anaerobic digester, and he's in talks to do that. Live in the studio, Rachel Kent, Fox 44.